I'm Bob Petty, I'm the welding teacher here, and uh, welcome to our brand new lab. There are three welding classes offered here, welding one, two, and three. Welding one is a semester long, one block class, and we learn all the major welding processes, and uh, we learn two of the major cutting processes and all the shop tools and hand tools that we can stand. And in welding two and three, which are both uh, double block classes, semester long each, um, we become more project-based. We'll build things. We build chairs and stools and tables and whatnot. And my students build all the tables uh, for all of the welding booths here. All the work tables that you may see in the background, uh, my students have built those over the years, uh, some more recent than others. When I started working here, um, you know, I had various people come to me and say, hey, we need a new welding lab. And I started talking to Mr. Petty and talking to people in the community and their response was, yeah, we've been saying that for a while, it's not going to happen. Um, and I think that's probably the most exciting part, that it's open. Our kids are in that space welding today. and. So to have gone through, you know, identifying a need, being told that people in the past have tried, and then being really excited over the fact that our kids have access to that space, that's probably the coolest part of this job right now. In industry, when you open a new business, uh, you have a ceremony called a ribbon cutting, and, and people come together um, from, you know, other businesses, from the Chamber of Commerce, from local government, and you know you have a giant pair of scissors and you you cut this ribbon and everybody claps and you celebrate because opening a new business is is a big deal and because this lab was so many years in the making and, and is such a huge investment in the future of pulaski county I, I wanted to have a ribbon cutting to celebrate this space so when i brought the idea to Mr. Petty, our welding instructor, and said, hey, you know, when this does happen, we're going to have a ribbon cutting, we're going to be inviting people, you know, we're going to celebrate this space. And he said, okay. And a few days later, he came back to me and asked what I thought about him putting his own spin on the celebration. And being a high school administrator, I said, well, what do you have in mind? Because I never say yes outright. Um, and he told me that he wanted to build a metal ribbon and use a torch to cut it. And to me, that just makes perfect sense. If we're celebrating a welding lab, what better way to do that than to cut metal with fire? This lab represents a huge investment made in the students of Pulaski County. The welding students in particular, uh, we have a state-of-the-art lab, brand new, all the machines are brand new, and we can do all of the major processes with one power source. And uh, just a few short years ago, that was not really cost-effective or even possible to, to do all the major processes with one power source. And we can do all that. We can hit all of our competencies with, with one machine, and um, this lab is definitely an upgrade in more ways than one over the ag shop that we were sharing uh, with the agriculture department. Um, every student now has uh, his or her own booth and uh, we all have the same machine. I can demonstrate something uh, out here on the work table. I have the same machine that they do. We, we're all using the same equipment and then they all have their own personal space to, to do what the assignment is. AGCVA has been a, a huge supporter of our skilled trade programs, so our trade and industry programs that we have here. And they are different contractors and, and different companies that are involved in building trades. One of our strong partners builds buildings with metal frames. Well, you need to have experience in welding to be able to work with and fabricate those metal frames. So when we were putting together the celebration 
to open the welding lab, I wanted to make sure that our AGCVA members, um, of which we are also a member as a school, um, knew that this was happening and that our students are getting that hands-on training here at Pulaski County High School. Um, it definitely helps because with the new equipment, you can do a lot more and like teach better with like the separate booths. You get like more room to help students. I've actually always wanted to be a teacher, like but like more in like the elementary school. And then when I took welding, I kind of fell in love with it and like want to teach more about it to other people. Definitely in welding one and two, I learned a lot, but teaching helps me like learn more because you're teaching them, but you're also learning more. We can simulate what Volvo does. We can simulate what Imperial does. Appalachian machine, to name a few, and uh, Imperial especially. Imperial, I'd like to give a shout out to them because they've provided a lot of material that they no longer use. They gave it to us at no cost, and we used uh, a good deal of that to make the work tables that we have in each booth. So thanks, uh, many thanks to Imperial, but um, any local industry, we can simulate what they do. I can prepare my students with the machinery and equipment we have. I can prepare my students to work in local industry and beyond.